Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Ali. In the little Malay village where Ali lived, there were many coconut trees. The villagers called the coconut tree the tree of a hundred uses. They depended on the coconut trees for almost everything, especially Ali. Ali was very poor, and the only one thing he had of any value was his one precious coconut tree. I'm so tired, the coconut tree. I've been planting rice in the fields all day. Then sit and lean against my trunk. That's what I want. It was so hot and I'm very thirsty. Look, my coconut has fallen. You can take a drink for me. Thank you, coconut tree. You are my best friend. What would I do without you? coconut tree, he made sure he took good care of her. He made sure she had enough water and fertilizer. He even trimmed the brown leaves regularly. In return, the coconut gave him food, shelter and fuel. He would use the leaves to patch up the roof of his attic hut. And also, whenever an old coconut dropped, he would scrape out the flesh and give it to his mom to make a delicious curry. He would also use the empty coconut shell to make bowls and cups. And lastly, he would use the fibers round the coconuts for his brushes. Brushes, anyone? Newly made brushes, only 10 cents each. I'll take one, Ali. I don't know why, but your brushes are the best around. Yeah, I tried making my own, but they never turn out as good as yours. How do you do it? It's not me. It's my coconut tree. She just gives me the best fibers. Ali, you're so funny. As if the fibers from your coconut tree is any different from others. If you have any sapu lady or brooms, I like one. I don't know why, but your brooms always sweep better than anyone else. I know. I told you it's not me. It's my coconut tree. She's just special. You're a skilled young man, Ali, but you're also a little bit strange. Special coconut tree, indeed. <laughs> Don't mind them, dear coconut tree. I know you have the best fibers and leaves and better than any other tree. Don't worry, Ali. I know that you appreciate what I give to you. Now, have you been planting my coconuts like I told you to? Yes, I have. I've been planting them 10 over years and they are growing nicely into little coconut trees. Good, good. But I don't see why I need them when I have you. It's always good to be prepared, Ali. You'll never know. I don't want to hear any other word. You are the only coconut tree I need. But Ali's coconut tree was wiser than he thought because a very important event was about to take place that would change Ali's life forever. Delicious ketupats, ketupats for sale, only five cents each. Hi, Ali. I'll take two, please. And give me two as well. Okay. Listen to me, everyone. Our village bridge has collapsed. We need to build a new one. Yes, Tuan. How can we help? Everyone has to contribute one coconut trunk, so we will have wood to rebuild. Yes, Tuan. Ali was in shock. Everyone had to give a coconut trunk for the bridge. And that meant that Ali would have to chop down his beloved coconut tree. What was he going to do? I can't chop you down and I won't. You must, Ali. Everyone in the village has to give one log. It's only fair. But I only have you. If I chop you down, what would I do without you? 
listen to me, Ali. This is why I've been asking you to plant my coconuts over the years. But they are young trees, not tall, strong and beautiful like you. But they will grow big and strong one day. And you have a tail on me. Don't be sad. You have looked after me well and I've been very happy. And you have looked after me very well and I am very happy too. Ask the chief to let me be the very first step of the new bridge. This way, every time when you cross the bridge, you will see me and remember me. The chief agreed to Ali's request. And just like his wise coconut tree said, Ali remembered his old friend whenever he crossed the bridge. As for the ten young coconut trees, they grew up tall, strong and healthy. And just like the first coconut tree, Ali took good care of them. And they, in return, took good care of Ali as well. So boys and girls, remember, be nice to others and they will be nice to you. ready and take some cotton wool and put it in them take about three pieces like this okay. mm. three pieces one just like that just how is it going guys good yeah great and then now can i put my seeds in well not quite yet seeds need something important in order to start growing i think Water is one of them. That's right, Yo-Yo. Now let's wet our cotton wool like this. Make sure it's wet. Okay, your turn. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, now it's yeah. Yaya's turn. Wow. Okay, so now that it's done, the seed also needs something else to start growing. Do you know what it is? Can you give us a little clue? Well, it's something people need as well. Air, that's right. Great. Now, what is the last thing that the seed needs? Mm, I think it's food. Mm, good try, Yo-Yo. But a seed doesn't need food because it already has food stored in itself. So what does the seed need? Well, it actually needs warmth. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. If a seed has all water, air and warmth, it will grow out nicely. So right now, let's put our seeds into our grow cups. Colorful ones, red one and green one. Make sure it's spaced out. Now what? Now we have to wait for about one or two days for the little roots to grow out. One or two days? You mean we can't see anything now? Well, patient, guys. You see, the seeds will need to absorb the water in order to start growing. And that is why we have to wait for one or two days. But not to worry, because I already started growing a few seeds a few days ago. So, here it is. I can see the roots starting to come out. Yep, the roots are really important because it takes in water in order for the plant to start growing. Now, do you know why the leaves of a plant can stay so fresh even though the roots are so far away? Mm. 
Shall we find out? Yes. Okay. Why do plants' leaves look so green and fresh? Because they absorb carbon dioxide. Because of the sunshine to the tree. Because our master catagrams. Because they take in in water. Well, why do the leaves of the plant stay so fresh when the roots are so far away? So many answers. So who's right? Well, how about let's do a cool experiment to find out? Great! Now, first of all, we need empty glass. And then we're gonna add some water in it. So, Yaya, can you pass me the jug of water, please? Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna fill up this glass with some water. Okay. Just like that. Thank you, Yaya. Please put it back for me. Right now, I'm gonna add some red food colouring in it. One. Two. Three. And four. And then I'm going to stir it. The water has become an awesome red. Why are you colouring the water anyway? Well, we're colouring the water because later, when the plant absorbs the water, we are able to see how and where the water travels. Alright, boys and girls, so now, do you know what this is? That's a celery stalk. Good job, Yo-Yo. I'm going to put the celery stalk into this glass of water. Just like that. Now what? Now we wait. What? We have to wait again? For how long? Well, we have to wait for one day. But not to worry, guys, because I did this before. And look, this is how it's supposed to look like. Wow, the leaf is red. How did that happen? Well, shall we cut through the stem to take a look at how it happens? Okay. Let's trim it a bit. Okay, there we go. What can you see? There are tiny little red dots. Yeah, that's right. Now, this celery has tiny tubes in its stems, and the little red dots show you where the tiny tubes are. So, the tiny little tubes bring the water from the roots to the leaves of the celery. Cool, huh? That's how the leaves turn red. The red water travels through the tiny tubes to its leaves. That's right. Now, we're going to do a second experiment, but this time with carnation flowers, shall we? Yeah. Great. Now, let's just clear this aside. Can you help me? Thank yeah. you. And I'm going to add some more water. Great. Thank you. And this time round, we're going to use some blue colouring. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'm going to stir it. As you can see, it's all blue now. So this time round, I'm going to use the carnation flowers. Can I get two stalks? Okay. Thank you. I'm going to put it in like this. There you go. Now, what do you think will happen with the flowers? The flowers will turn blue. That is correct. It will actually turn blue. Now, I've made one a few days ago, and this is how it looks like. Cool. It's so pretty. Yep. So, now we know how come the leaves and flowers of the plant can stay so fresh even though the roots are so far away. The water travels to the tiny tubes in their stems. That is right. So, boys and girls, go ahead and try this cool experiment at home. You can ask mommy or daddy to help you cut the stems.
today's show, we're going to play a game called Flower Tangram. And for this game, a tangram is actually an old Chinese puzzle that uses shapes to form a picture. So this is an example of a cat tangram. So for our games, the teams have to make a tangram using circles, squares and rectangles. Team, your outline is over here. You will have to use the shapes given to you into the outline. That's right. So now both teams will have two minutes to complete the game. Now, boys and girls, let me hear your support for the rating. Yeah. Yeah. Rating, rating. And right now, blue team, let me hear your support. Yeah. Blue team. Yeah. 